All right, this is Vegeta 8259 again, and several of you have asked me to do a separate review of the inner frame of the Zaku 2.0, so here it is. I guess I'll just uh, do articulation just like I did in the regular review, only this time the Zaku will be naked. All right, uh, for the head, he's got a double bull-jointed neck. It can go up and down, it can go side to side, and since we don't have that clear part and all the helmet stuff there, this will be a really good opportunity to show you the cool function on the mono eye. When you turn his head, the mono eye turns with it. So I thought that was just really nifty. See, so I've taken the head off here. When you turn the neck, the, mo the mono eye turns. So that's pretty cool. A whole lot better than on the 1.0 where you had to turn that little tab on the back of his head to make the mono eye move. Anyway, uh, not much uh, to do on the backpack. Uh, the thrusters go up and down. And this is, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, this is Shin Matsunaga's Saku 2.0. So, if you get a regular Zaku, it won't have this giant backpack. It'll have a normal-looking Zaku backpack. And he's got a little tab on his back that you can switch, and the cockpit switches sides. So, it can go left, right, left, right, whichever side you want it to be on. Alright, uh, the arms can come in and out of the body like so. And there's like little pistons and gears and things that move around in there. Uh, they can't go up and down though. I was kind of surprised by that. Although they are at an angle when they go in and out. But uh, there's no up and down movement. But the arms do go out. Uh, there's this little hinge right here that connects to the shield. It can go up and down and rotate the arms rotate below the elbow. The elbows are double jointed. And he's got a double jointed wrist. It's two ball joints that with a poly cap that connects them. And he's got 2.0 hands, which means a ball joint at the thumb, each finger is ball jointed, and each finger has a joint. So it can almost move realistically. On the other arm, he's got that same uh, little piece right here, only it connects to his shoulder armor. And it can do the same thing. It comes out and rotates and makes the arm fall apart. But, yeah. There we go. Alright, there is a joint right here in the torso that lets the torso bend forward a little bit and then the waist is a ball joint so it can go forward even more and backward a bit and it cannot do it with all his armor attached but with just the bare frame it can go 360. The side skirts are on ball joints the back skirt is double jointed. It's got ball joints attached to the back skirt and then it's like a peg that's attached uh, to the waist there so it can come in and out. And it's got this little clip right here that goes up and down for the bazooka. The legs can go out quite a ways, full 90 degrees. They can go up a whole 180. They can go back about as far as the back skirts will let them, and speaking of which, the back skirts just fell off. Put that back on there. The knees bend about 90 degrees on this kit. However, if you have a normal Zaku 2 that's not Shin Matsunaga or Johnny Rydeen's custom, then they will move a bit further because the normal Zaku doesn't have all this bulky stuff on the lower leg. 
Uh, speaking of bulky stuff, each one of these thrusters moves up and down a little bit. And the ankle is double jointed. It's got a joint right here in the leg that lets it move forward quite a ways, backwards a bit. And then it's got a ball joint down inside the foot that lets it go side to side, forward a little bit more, backward a little bit more, rotates just a little bit, and you can see it's got this piston right here on the front, and it's also got pistons on the back, which mine came in loose. And then he's got uh, the front part of the foot, the, the toes kind of go forward. They obviously can't go this far up with the foot armor attached, but they do when it's just the bare frame. And I guess that's just about it for the Zaku 2.0 inner frame. Uh, yeah. I, I think I want to get another Zaku 2.0. I still want to get that Kawaguchi version. Uh, I mean, I don't want to pay a lot of money for it. Because the last time I saw it on eBay, it was like $60. And that's a bit much for just a Zaku 2.0, which usually goes for like 40 or 45 but uh, if worse comes to worse I can just buy a normal one and paint it like the Kawaguchi version I just won't have the decals so anyway that was the Zaku 2.0's inner frame and I will see you guys next time